for the sign of Libra hello and welcome to my channel so Libra the energy that I'm picking up for you guys is that for a lot of you Libras is that something feels like it's a heavy burden and it feels like it's weighing you down and you might feel like you got the world on your shoulders. Yeah, this could be now or it could be coming up towards the end of June. It could even go into um, July. But let's take a look at the reading and see where this is coming from. Now, for the present time, coming up towards, well, this is the third week of July, re third week of June reading. So, around that time, like I said, the energy is fluid, so it could be before, it could be after. Um, we got this Two of Wands, and it's with Temperance. So, the Two of Wands, it's an interesting card in the tarot. I don't know if you can see the picture, but... This young man, it looks like there's two wands there, and his hand is tied to one wand. Let me see if, you can flip, let me see if I can flip the light on it. His hand is tied to one wand, and then the other wand, his feet is tied to the other wand, and he's focused towards the other wand that has the bird towards that wand. hope you can see it. It's interesting. It really speaks volumes if you could actually see what the picture looks like. But anyway, Two of Wands, it's important that you keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it indicates partnership with another person. This could be business or personal or could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. If things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So, it's paired with temperance. Now, temperance, with this card, all your relationships are likely to be going quite well. You may need to look at some deep personal issues if you have any and see if they're standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them. The ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in your relationships, in yourself, your goals and your aspirations. Yeah, so try to look at anything you feel guilty about, any past mistakes that you've made. Forgive yourself, then let it go because it's really the only way you can truly make progress. Yeah, so basically with these two cards paired together, you could have two paths towards a future. So, kind of like having two options. He's more focused on one option, which is one one, more than he is the other. So, I guess it's kind of like trying to decide which path to take. The right one path or the left one path. And once you decide that, it brings about balance. Yeah. Peace of mind with temperance here. Maybe even reconciliation with someone. Um, yeah, you can even let go of any mistakes that you've made, but you have to decide which option to take, because it's not easy to uh, go back and forth. But let's get into the reading um, as far as how your person sees you, you see them, and why it's happening, so that we can get more clarity on these two cards. Now, if you're dealing with someone, they see you like the Eight of Cups, and they also see you like the Sun card. So, the Eight of Cups, it means that you 
will choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, job, neighborhood. There could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. This, you have to know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a job, relationship, situation, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make a choice. Very often when the one door closes, it has to do that before you can open the next door in front of you or before the, the next door in front of you can fully open. One door has to close. And this is how they see you. They see you as with, you could be withdrawing from them, maybe walking away, or maybe they see you as thinking of leaving this connection behind. Uh, something has gone sour. Now it's with this 10, no, actually it's with the the sun card, this pretty yellow card right here. How could I uh, think that's the Ten of Wands? But no, it's the sun card. Okay, Eight of Cups is with the sun card. This is the other way they see you. Sun card, they see you as adding a lot of bright and happy days and times to their life. You add sunshine. Yeah, the sun card is likely it means that things are likely to be going really well. Even though your finances are in good shape, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is probably not very high on the list. I know for me it is, but that's what the sun card says. Um, this is a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, it's signifying it's right around the corner. So, like I said, they see you as, you could be thinking about withdrawing and leaving this connection behind. They see you wanting to, you're about ready to walk. Something happened and it feels like it's gone sour. And like I said, they also see you as their bright and happy times. They're, you make this person happy, you add sunshine to, to their life. But they see you ready to, you might be ready to get out of there. So let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the Nine of Cups. And you also see them like the Knight of Pentacles. Now this Nine of Cups, it's just short of one cup to get the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the tops. So the Nine of Cups, it's one of the most uplifting and pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It means that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a very brief period of time. This card is showing happiness, good things to come. It usually means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. So you see them as blessed and satisfied. That's what the Nine of Cups is, point blank. Very blessed and satisfied. That's how you see them. Now you also see them like the Nine of Pentacles, which points to messages. So someone, this person could want to, um, you could see them as wanting to talk, wanting to reach out to you. They got something to say maybe. Um, Nine of Pentacles, when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's money, cash, coins, finance, income. Um, you're likely to finally finally receive some type of news that you've been waiting on, and the news is really good news. The Nine is a practical card. It tells you to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying before, take care of the little things and the big things usually will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to take a look at how you're handling your affairs. So you see them like this Knight of Pentacles also. Uh, you could, 
Well, let me just brief you a little bit more about the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a, the slow and steady type. It's very stable, civil, um, not really adventurous, very good to marry, probably um, uh, good to marry, probably boring to date. That's an example of the of the Knight of Pentacles. So you could see this your person as needing to be more like this stable. You could see them as needing to be more civilized. Yeah. Taking things more slow and steady. You could see them as needing to be more like this. Just more stable, civil, but you also see them as, you see them as blessed and satisfied, but they need to, it seems like they need to bring it down or something. Bring it down to be more grounded like the Knight of Pentacles, more civilized, yeah. Now I know that's kind of vague, but we'll we'll clarify these two cards more in a minute. So let's talk about why it's happening. We got this Ten of Cups, and it's with the Two of Cups. Now, did I say Ten of Cups? That was incorrect. Why it's happening? The card that's above why it's happening. That's a Two of Cups. Okay. And the card below why it's happening, that's the Ten of Wands. I got the words twisted, so, but that's what it is. Okay. So, why it's happening, Two of Cups, which refers to romantic partnerships, but it's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This card, it says that things are likely to be going really well. You'll be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So, this is one of the reasons why it's happening. Um, this is, for you or your person, the ideal partner. There's a harmony, there's a deep union, a connection. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, there's a romantic love. Possible proposal, marriage. Two of Cups is beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. It's about commitment. Things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. Now, the other reason why it's happening is the Ten of Wands. Now, you may feel as though you're carrying some type of heavy burden. You may want to look hard at this to see if there are any ways you might lighten your load, either liter literally or figuratively. If you look carefully, you'll probably find that part of the burden you're carrying. It actually belongs to someone else, so it's going, going to be important for you to pace yourself now and try not to take on too much. Because this uh, Ten of Wands, it's, a, it's signifying a hard place in a relationship. Yeah. See how this man in the picture, the Ten of Wands, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. So this is the other reason why it's happening. So let's recap the reading so that we can get the complete picture. Okay, so basically... Uh, your person that you're dealing with, they see you as you, you're about ready to walk away. All right, you're about ready to to leave this connection behind. You could, uh, they could see you as feeling like you you're ready to move on, but you make this person really happy with the sun card here, really happy. And you probably don't even know it. Now, like I said, you see them as 
they could be feeling blessed and satisfied. You got the nine of cups. It's just short of one cup. And um, you see them needing to be more stable and civilized with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, at one point, this connection could have felt like the Two of Cups, like the ideal partnership. There was a deep, deep, it felt like a deep union at one point. Uh, you might have even wanted to take this to the next level, marriage, proposal, living together. And I say at one point because right now it looks like you're ready to abandon this connection with the Eight of Cups showing up here. Uh, something feels like a heavy burden for you, Libra, in this connection. So you're wishing your person becomes more stable and civilized. And what I'm picking up is that because we got the Two of Wands here, it could be because your person has maybe two options. Yep. It looks like, like I said, he's looking at, or she's looking more at, more towards one option than, she, than they are the other option. Is if you see the bird in his hand, and his feet is tied to that wand that's facing that bird, and then the other wand, he has his hand tied to the other wand, but he's not looking in that direction. So that can cause a problem. So whatever it is, it could be a situation, it could be another person that this person that you're dealing with looks like they might have another option. And this connection needs to be um, more balanced because you got the temperance here. It needs to be balanced out. It looks like the um, the other option is causing a problem. And it's causing imbalance because you got temperance here. It needs to be balanced or balanced it to be needs to be brought back into this connection. So you're thinking about walking away. Um, they can also see you as just wanting your sunshine back in your life. Wanting sunshine, wanting happy days back in your life. They could see you like that. There's, there could be a few storylines here. Um, yeah, at one point it felt like the ideal partnership. But now it's, it feels like a burden for you, Libra. Yeah. I guess that's what, what the Two of Wands can do. If you're dealing with someone that has another option and you care a lot about this person, so that's what I got for you, Libra. Yeah, that's what I got for you. So, good luck with that situation. Sorry, it feels like a burden. So, I hope this resonates. Resonates. Resonates.